The Way We Live, Chapter 4. I beg of you, please, just leave this city. Where did this come from? Uh-oh, he recorded me. He finna show it to Monica, isn't he? Oh, I knew this would happen. In order for the new society of children to be calm and peaceful, I need to create paradise. Everyone has high expectations of me. I cannot fail. So please, get out of our town. But, uh, but, uh... Oh, Maru, don't be tricked. You don't have to actually accept that offer. No, this is not an offer. It's an honest request. What? He please. bowed down to me? I'm begging you. Please leave. H hey! I wouldn't trust a kid, even if he's kneeling on the ground. He's obviously tricking us. I do not intend to trick you. I'm serious. He actually took the wristband off. And now, you are free. But Nagisa, if you do this, you're gonna make Monica super sad! I know that, but it has to be done. Monica has high expectations of me. I'm sure she'll understand. I'll take you to the secret passageway. It's the only way to get out of town. I can guarantee your safety until you reach it. The Monokumas won't attack with me here. Come on, let's go. Hey, hey! I told you to wait! What? Do you have another objection? D do I? Um... Oh, oh, Maru, are you really okay with this? Huh? Of course she is. This is what she wanted all this time. I, I wasn't talking to you. I'm asking Amaru. She wants to leave this town. Why are you getting in her way? You're on the same side, right? Then you should respect her feelings. Her feelings? Sh shut up. You have no right to say that. It's going to be all right. I will personally guide you to the secret passageway. No need to worry. Let's go. Oh, she Toko don't want to leave. Toko don't want to leave because of um Biaki is still captured, remember? Don't follow us. But, but. I think you I don't want get Monica that. to hate you, do you? Let's go. The secret passageway is this way. I don't know if I can actually this trust way. him, but he did take off the freaking wristband, so... That kid... He looks so normal, running like that. How does a non-normal kid run? There we go. Gotta make sure I find all those fake secrets. There's only one thing I could tell from sure. After taking the night shift at, as lookout, the children are all wearing these idiotic helmets. None of them look like they're sleeping and they, and I've never seen them eat either. Are they really human children? Is it possible that they're just me mechanical dogs like Monokumas? Well, regardless, rather they're humans or robots, they're devils in our eyes. Uh, when they when it runs through them.
coming. Monokuma's invisible. I didn't. Hold on. Why are you attacking me? Must have something to do with, with what Nagito did. What's going on? Why is he getting ambushed by the Monokuma? Monokuma? I don't know either. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Here. This is strange. What in the world is this? Hey, you weren't lying when you said you wouldn't trick us, right? Of course. If I wanted to deceive you, I would not have removed your wristband. Then they must have found out you betrayed them. B betrayal? Me? N no, that's wrong. I'm no traitor. I am the leader of the Warriors of Hope. I care about making paradise more than anybody. The reason I'm letting you guys go is because I care so much. It appears your allies aren't taking it that way. Pretty uh, much. I'm sure she'd understand if I explained it to her properly. Monica has such high expectations. Yeah, keep on saying that, Mr. Genius Grade Schooler. Ain't nothing you can do now. Let's go. Might as well help me get out of here. Bodies everywhere. I'm getting sick of this. The secret passageway is this way. <laughs> oh, great. More my <laughs> Fight. 
hard to practice. I'm pretty sure that's not it. First time I ever ran out of break. This way. You're seriously trusting a guy like that? I'm sure he's planning to betray you. You, you think so? Uh, yeah, they've been trying to kill us this whole time. Alright, where now?
think that there was something I was supposed to do. Because for some reason they keep coming. Passageway is this way. So, so cruel. This is too cruel. I won't look, but even if I don't see it, I can pretty much figure out what happened. You really don't feel anything seeing this? These people are demons, our enemies. That's not what she asked. You said it before, right? It's because you're... afraid of adults? Yeah, that's right. We can't help but be terrified around adults. If the adults just didn't exist, we could live peacefully. That's what I believe. Why are you so afraid of adults? We Warriors of Hope are classmates in the Hope's Peak Elementary program. We were in the classroom where they put all the troublemakers. But I resented being called a troublemaker. It makes it sound as if we ourselves were the cause of the trouble. But that's not right. 
her troubles were created by adults, by her parents. They say kids can't pick their parents. Well, we were the unluckiest ones of all. My parents were, without exaggeration, the worst, like demons. My parents raised me like they were leveling me up in some game. They didn't treat me like a person. They probably even forgot I was their child. From morning till night, study, study, study. When I got sleepy, Anna left this. Even if I faint, HP is fully restored with a handy IV in my arm. Three to four days straight. Wow, that is horrible. And if I showed even the slightest resistance, they'd use items to neuter my spirit. And by doing so, as long as they steadily racked up XP, I'd level up to their expectations. And it wasn't just at home. I received the same expectations at school as well. My father was a teacher at our school. He was a researcher of children's talent. He used his own son to research the growth of a child's talent. He wanted to see what the growth curve would be like if he pushed a child to the breaking point. Isn't that funny? I was the subject of such an amusing experiment. It's not funny at all. But even with all that, I was still better off than the others. You saw Monica's legs, right? That was done to her by her family. Her father and older brother were jealous of her talent. And that's how she ended up like that. They crippled her? That's horrible. Because we had talent. Because we were superior. We were treated like we were in hell. But during it all, we didn't hold a grudge against our parents. We accepted how we were treated. Because we weren't aware that it was okay to hate our parents. We trusted the common knowledge that kids must love their parents, so we didn't fight it. Instead, we bonded over our struggle, and those discussions led us to the same conclusion. We had to escape from the horrifying world that made us suffer. We were desperate to run away from our scary parents, scary adults, the whole scary world. And we thought there was only one way out, but... That's when it happened. There was someone who taught us to have courage. To fight back instead of running away. Junko. That was Big Sis Junko. Big Sis Junko told us how. If you don't want it, give it to me. She wanted the thing we were going to dispose of. Our lives. And so... Big Sis Junko abducted us. Our disappearance didn't make much news. This was around the time the incident was growing. Ever since then, the days have been so much fun. Big Sis Junko showered her possessions with love and affection. She gave us not only love, but a dream as well. The dream of creating a children's paradise, where the children can live peacefully. We also learned from Big Sis Junko the beliefs required to build that dream. The belief that adults are demons. It was as if we saw the light. Thanks to her, we finally realized. The common knowledge we had known up until then were lies adults created for their own benefit. Children cannot defy their parents. Everyone must get along. Violence can never bring peace. To destroy the world based on such lies, we decided to fight against the adults. As far as I remember, the first adult we defeated was a random person we didn't even know. We learned that kids can kill adults if they wanted to, and we were encouraged. From there, we leveled ourselves up by killing demons. Big Sis Junko was so pleased. Just the idea of a child killing an adult is despair inducing. Junko manipulated them to killing people. Just as I expected. You guys were just tools to her. The way she took you in, it's no different than a cult. You bring in the weak people and attach them to your own dream. The revolution you're talking about? It's all just another piece of despair to her. You guys were completely deceived by Junko and Ashima. And what's wrong with that? Did I not tell you that we are her possessions? 
We would rather her take advantage of us than horrible adults. Sounds like it's too late. Wait, she is an adult. Say what you like. Big Sis Junko gave us hope. That's the truth. And because of that hope, we were able to defeat the demon boss. Demon boss? Our parents. You killed your parents? That was a special battle that can only be fought once. That made us level up even further. From there, Operation Children's Paradise began. And we started freeing other children. By doing so, the advance of the Warriors of Hope seemed unstoppable. But just when things were going so well, Big Sis Junko died. Killed by some idiot. Makoto. When she died, and we lost our guide, we didn't know what to do. But Monica didn't despair. All we gotta do is fulfill the hopeful dream Big Sis Junko gave us. We shouldn't give up. We can't abandon hope. At that moment, Monica looked just like Big Sis Junko in our eyes. Things that didn't matter vanished. And we felt ourselves rising up again. Come to think of it, that moment, that was the real beginning of the revolution. And this time around, I swore an oath. We, the survivors, will fulfill the dream and prove how amazing Big Sis Junko is. We would leave lies like education and love for family in the past and create paradise. That is our hope. You guys, you really don't understand that you're doing something very wrong. Justice and evil. These are beliefs that adults have defined, are they not? First off, pure evil simply does not exist. In all evil, there is something good. And in the same way, justice always hurts someone. There is no pure justice either. <laughs> Are we really gonna stand around waxing philosophical with some little brat? I wanna know why you guys chose Toa City. And not only that, how did you guys get that army of Monokuma? The one who chose the city and prepared our Monokumas was Monica. Isn't she amazing? She created them with her special magic. Magic? Don't take any of this seriously. It's just some kid talking. Basically, Monica's the mastermind. And to save Master, I gotta deal with her. Monica is our princess. I will never allow that. Hey! Earlier, you said that there is no such thing as pure justice or evil. But even if that's true, a dream that requires you to hurt someone, I think it's wrong. After all this time, still saying something so naive, it seems as though we really don't have much in common. I was right to ask you to leave. So let's go already. The secret passageway is right up ahead. So, well, I kind of figured that Junko was the one manipulating all this. But it's still, it's still crazy. Because I don't understand if this is after... Or before they can rough and goodbye despair. We're here. It's at the shrine. We should get going. Hey, Omaru, do you have a second? Huh? Are you really sure this is okay? To end it like this? Running away? You're asking this now? All this time I've been trying to escape. And not just that. I'm still worried about my dad and mom. What are you gonna do, Toko? Are you really gonna stay here? Uh, of course. I have to save Master Biakia. Right. Hey. What do you think, honestly? Is it better for me to stay in this city? Why are you asking me? I mean, if I go, you'll be alone. Toko, do you want me to stay? You have no reason to worry about me. I'm capable of surviving on my own. Yeah, you're right. When I'm around, I'm just a burden to you. Unlike me. You're truly amazing, Toko. Hey, Omaru? Hmm? Sorry for getting you involved in all this. Involved? What do you mean? N nothing. Just leave before he changes his mind. Alright, I 
guess it, guess it's finally time to go. No, I know there's got to be more though to this, right? I thought this place would be fine. I was confident that I would never be found, but as if they were where I was hiding from the beginning and Monica McCann and attacked me. I was just barely able to escape, but I couldn't save her. My wife was killed. She was torn apart limb from limb. They cut off her skin and her flesh was everything, but I just ran away. I'm I'm done for. I'm done for. There's no place to hide. No place to run in this city. Um... Is it true your parents were cruel to you, but that doesn't mean you can kill all the adults. <laughs> Again, with the nonsense. With with all this, we are, are we all aware that we are killing innocents? But... This is war. When we're burning the enemy's country to the ground, do you stop to spare the good people? Even if you had years, we would never achieve our dreams with that benevolence. But... Demon. Consider it fate. We were born and raised here. We were treated as if we weren't even human. We went, it wouldn't be a cruel twist of fate. It would if we didn't fight back. But for you to just do that to to if you for uh, for you to just do that to what they've Don't done mess to you. With me. Perhaps you think we should have stayed subhuman, just a no. no, not like hey. that. Then you tell me what should we have done? What was the right thing to do what should we have done to earn the privilege to, of a normal happy don't childhood? mess with me oh stop being such a drama queen you could have relied on the police on the government don't mess with me you're asking these these those who have had their lives destroyed by adults to trust other adults <sighs> ever since we, we five were born in Torah city our destiny was decided no one can stop us with all these children in this town we we will build an ideal paradise with with all the children in the, and with all the children in this town. We're talking about all these brats in the helmets. Of course, it's not just us, but also the Mon the Monokuma kids. All the children. It's far too suspicious. Funny, that's all the kids in this town just happen to have murderous intentions like <laughs> you. Hmm, perhaps I said too much. I have nothing else to say to you. Cannot you cannot stop us now. Pretty bold for a shrimp. Look, look, shrimpy little brat like you to talk big. I don't care how unfortunate your childhoods were. Killing humans would never be okay. I didn't expect a demon to understand. Well, okay. So. Okay, so. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. When we come back, we'll start from this right here. Uh, mm. Don't forget, tomorrow... Uh, around Eastern time, Dakin Rump and V, the next episode of Dakin Rump and V3 will be released. So, if you guys are interested in Dakin Rump and V3, go ahead and check that out. It will be released tomorrow. If you want an extra bonus episode of Dakin Rump and uh, Despair Girls, let me know down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, and I'll drop another episode for you guys tomorrow. Hmm. So, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up. I'm sorry it took so long for me to get through one part, but I, I tried my best. I didn't know what was going on. I thought it was something I had to do, but thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.